What's up everyone? I'm your female Taku and I'm here to review episode 17 of Haikyuu season 2. And I was really, really worried for Daichi since you know the cliffhanger last week when we saw him laying on the ground. I was afraid he was concussed, but thank goodness he is not. His mouth is bleeding though. Goodness, he spit out a tooth. That was one hard collision. Oh man. But I'm really glad that the whole situation with Daichi and Tanaka was fixed immediately because that could have dragged on for like the entire episode. How like Tanaka would have been blaming himself the entire time. But no, that was solved in like five minutes because even though Daichi said to um, Tanaka that Daichi apologized for crashing into him, uh, Tanaka still felt bad. But then uh, Asahi, he was just still like, dude, we're just really happy that you're not hurt. So that was really nice of him to say. And then Tanaka perked right back up and was back in the game. But who is going to replace Daichi? We have this guy, I don't remember him at all. <laughs> His name is uh, Chikara. And he is a second year. And him... Nishinoya and Tanaka, they had a conversation once about how, like, discussing who would be a good fit to become the next captain. And they were all like, hey, Chikata, you could be a good captain. And then Chikata's like, no, I ran away once. I can't. And then we had, like, this whole backstory with Chikata, which I kind of found pretty interesting, okay? With Chikata, he skipped practice and... He lied saying that he was sick and he skipped and not it wasn't only him apparently five first years which when this took place the second years were first years at the time so five first years skipped and two of them quit and that got me thinking I have a little story to relate to the situation I'll keep it brief but hear me out okay so Last year in October, it was, you know, fall color guard season. For those of you who don't know what color guard is, it's uh, when you twirl flags and stuff. We're part of marching band. We march out on the field during the halftime games of football. So that's what I did. And I love color guard, okay? I even tried out to be captain. Unfortunately, I didn't get captain. But anyway, so around in October... I got sick, but this was before I ha I got really, really sick and I had to go to the hospital. This was about a week or two before that, okay? And one time, I decided to skip practice. I was all like, I'm pretty tired. Uh, I really don't feel like coming in today, so I skipped that practice. Worst decision ever, because then I missed... An entire routine, and to this day, I still have not caught up with that routine. And whenever, color, like whenever the marching band performs the song, I have to sit out for that one. In total, we perform three songs. I stand there for two and have to sit in the sidelines for one. <sighs> yeah, so... Don't skip out on practice, kids, <laughs> okay? Uh, it really bugged me because then I, one day my parents finally came to see me and they were questioning why I was on the sidelines for one performance and it was, it was sad, it really was. So I was really able to relate to Chikata, but what he did though is that he was actually able to catch up and overcome this. So props to him and this episode was basically about the bench warmers because then we went over to Yamaguchi and Yamaguchi was a nervous wreck. Oh man, like when he started tearing up when Coach Ukai was coming over to yell at him, oh, that killed me. That killed me, oh my goodness. You just saw his face, man. He was gonna cry and I was like, no man, don't do that. You're gonna make me cry, man. And I, why, why are you gonna do this to me? Oh, that, that hit me hard. It really did, seeing him like that. But uh, Chikara, he was all like, Yo, coach, Yamaguchi knows 
he, out of all of us, knows. So, that was really kind of Chikata. And you know what? He's going to make a great captain when the third years leave. I don't want the third years to leave. <sighs> well, great episode. Krasno, they took the first set. But as we saw at the end of the episode, Wakunan is taking the second. So, what is gonna happen here? Oh boy. <sighs> Catch me probably tomorrow, since Ajin doesn't seem like it's gonna be translated anytime soon. Catch me tomorrow as I review Ruby Volume 3, Dimension W, Hi to Genso no Grimgar, and Live React to Nijiro Days. I'm your female otaku, Sayonara.